Gosh! What's up guys, this is Shana and today we are at the Riang Happy Garden. Let's go! This is one of the main roads for Kuchai Lama and this will be heading over to Kuchai Entrepreneur Park and the other side will be Sri Pataling already then this straight road if you go all the way will be from OUG and that just indicate how convenient this location can be but when you talk about convenience it also comes with congestion so right next to the main road right I think this is actually constructed if not improved by the developer because you can see the structure of the bus stop is very very nice very very thought through you look into the hollow blocks right it just gives you that artistic feel you look into the fencing the hedges right for security purposes and this will be the journey if you were to walk back home it's very very comfortable then one of my favorite things would be the commercial shops adjacent to this project la. so this would be a full residential project but no worries because within walking distance you can already reach like, easily 100 different shop offices just that the entrance to the project can be a little bit difficult because of how important this road is because this is one of the main roads if you were to travel around right it's pretty difficult to branch out during busy hours so that's something to take note but I think the developer has done whatever that was required which is to have the lay by and things like that due to the land shape the entire building is actually elongated in order to give a better buffer in that feeling of coming home right the developer chose to add in a deeper pathway for the entrance then to the car park once from the busy road right you just take a sharp turn then you plus if there's any visitor line right then it can kind of get really dangerous so the design intent i like then for car park structure wise i think it's very well done you can see no artificial lighting needed because the building is rather short in width so they apply flat slab and it's so tidy so whatever light that was installed right the ray will be maximized something i really really enjoy right now while walking on the road it's the treatment to the facade nothing fancy just using concrete block creating that language right also it looks very natural because it's the natural concrete color and that seems to be the general treatment across the lobby so that will be the main road coming into the gut house that will be the child's play and they know that it's going to be children so they actually wrap it up with the fence then check out the landscape treatments across this walkway it's so nice check out the trees check out the entrance statement those will be the elevated car parks and that will be the podium then the residence so in one scene you can see multiple different materials the landscape bricks concrete you can see the tiles textured columns marble textures right it's just so rugged yet so nice from the leaf lobby immediately you have this kind of Shanghai plaster along with the skirting as well so when people mop right it won't dirty you can see the entire concept for the common areas right it's low maintenance everything is like naturally ventilated then you have the library here the management office there everything is again very consumer or very residence focused because sometimes you build very fancy fancy stuff right until the end when you look into the electricity bill you are faint because it's just too high to maintain that's why a lot of old buildings the water fountain they will switch off the electrical lighting will switch off just because the cost of electricity is just too high but something to also point out the responsiveness of this developer is just blowing my mind away the residents also told me that they were having the debates towards the paint colors and things like that when i heard it i'm so surprised that why would you even argue or entertain residents about the color it's very very subjective in the first place there's nothing that ties you in terms of agreement but the developers still do it and i think that's amazing seriously oh, almost borderline spoil market you know <laughs> and something about this developer they're very sensitive towards elderly okay use and they apply that to this ramp 
Okay, so if you look into their subsequent project, there's this concept called UDG that they apply Universal Design Guidelines where it's really meant for everyone, including the disabled, the elderly, children, have all those perspectives in mind during design. So we are now in the swimming pool and this is a floating one and they made it into this organic form which just juxtaposed with the, all the straight lines across the side. Then at the end of the lap pool, you will have a wading pool along with a jacuzzi. Under your Kambojas, you have some palm trees here to have that tropical feeling, right? I really like it though. Because of the overflowing as well, the sound actually, to a certain extent, mask the traffic noise from surrounding. Lah. So the form of this kind of building, we call them the point block, where it's just a single tower design and it's only around 200 over units. Very, very low then based on what I see in the facility deck. I must say the strength to this project is in the detailing, the application of materials, the edges and connecting points between those materials is spot on. You look into the facade, then you have the fence, then you have this layer of landscape to ensure that people won't step into it. Then you have this edge of Shanghai plaster with an expansion joint for the timber deck. Then you have that overflowing mechanism for the water to flow through. Then you have the stone furnishes for the swimming pool. Just that, colour a bit. <clears throat> right? <laughs> At the other end of the facility deck, we have the children's playground. And you can see some rock climbing materials. But if they were to fall, it's okay because they use the rubber tiles. That prevents concussion, but your bone will still break. So coming out from the leaf lobby, there's five leaves serving around eight units. Uh, and you can see that it's very wide and the ceiling height is nice. And you see both sides of the lobby. Also some cool facts and brownie points to the developer. As I was just shooting around, right, a lot of residents came and say hi, thank you very much. And I can hear kind words about the developer. Yes, there will be dissatisfaction here and there, but the developer took initiative in fixing all of them. For example, these used to be white walls and it's very easily stained. So what they did is they are now covering this up. Paint, they cover. Wall texture, also they cover. We know. As always, we will check the refuse chamber. It's a two-door system where it will somewhat contain the smell before it flows out. Right, so this is the refuse room. I think it's one of the first developments I see recycled beans. That's very nice. Um, sufficient wall height tiles, there's some ventilation panel there. So the corridor width is 1.3, height is 2.6 and in every wing there will be two units and you can see that it's very bright. Coming into the unit, first of all we need to clarify that this is a private unit. They have done renovation. So there are certain walls and certain doors that they remove and they replace with their own design. So this may not directly reflect whatever the developer is providing. So that's the caveat for this visit, but it looks amazing. Stepping out from the door, immediately you have this wide opening, right, to welcome you back home. And we mentioned before the typology of having the dining and the living together, right? This depth is just amazing. Right next to the living room will be your dining space. Earlier, right, this would be the storeroom or the maid's room. Then this was the toilet and etc. So what they do, they approach the interior designer to cater the space for only two or three of them, right? So this ample of space, 1,400 over square feet, they change it up really, really nicely. Lah. So you look at the gold trimming around the glass to allow visibility among these two spaces. Because if not, People who cook right can never talk to people who are just eating right? And with that glass opening right, you can see that even without switching on the lights, it's so bright. You can see the oven here, the basin here, it's so white. Wow. And the marble texture on top. Then what really creates the space right, when you look into the connection, the joint between the cabinets and the floor will be gold trimmings. Then you have these kind of textures at the door. So I've got stopper. Whew.
Next to that will be the principal bedroom. And the scale is nice. You can fit in a queen size bed. You still have ample amount of space for circulation. The window scale is nice because it just brings in the right amount of daylight. And this used to be a door. What they did is they implemented a sliding door to save space. And for window detail, the developer chose to build a feet above the floor. This is one of the most effective ways. And it's not full height, but I think it's good enough. And that will be the highways already. So that is actually max highway. Across three Pataling, then you have M Oscar at the end. You have all these existing developments surrounding you. Good thing is there will no longer be any future development besides that piece of land. So it's going to be a distance away. And at the far end, you can still see 118, you can still see KLCC Twin Towers. So moving on to the principal bathroom, you can check out the tile furnishing. It's nice, those very rare textured ones because it's not easy to pull them off but I think it looks amazing. Shower screen, huge window. But I'm not sure whether it's the developer specs or not lah, but I like it for him, for her, ultimate practicality. If not, you will fight in the morning one. Because it's connected to the external, you have the window, so you don't need the mechanical ventilation. Right opposite, there will be another two more rooms. They converted this into a home office. Full height cabinets. You also have a window at the end to allow daylight into the space so it won't be so claustrophobic. These rooms will be sharing this common bathroom but I think it's only with the guests because this room also has its own ensuite bathroom. This room then feels a little bit smaller but in comparison to the principal bedroom. And the spatial quality is very comfortable again because of the huge window. Just that they need to have this gap for the utilities to run through. So that's the only thing but you barely even notice it. And coming outside, this will be the balcony for this unit. It's long, it's nice. I can actually play mahjong outside. Wow, you have the steel handrail and the glass handrails. But what you can see really is the entire mature development around this project. But some may also call it busy and noisy lah. But it depends on what you want no? So one of my concerns again will be this plot of land. There's a very high possibility that this will be developed because you can see no more land. At the far end will be the LRT station and if you just take that station, you can hit up straight to TRX. At the same note, look into the surrounding it's all local roads. It also means that the traffic can be insane at times. So this is Kuchai Business Park. Entrepreneur Park is somewhere at the end. We are now at the rooftop thinking that we can check out the facilities. But unfortunately, because of MCO, it's actually locked. Hmm. I think that's all for the project. It's now time for Sean Take 3 on 3. The thing I like number one is the attention to details. Because if you look into the land, it's just too close to one of the main route of Kujai Lama. It can get really busy and once I turn in, it would make sense financially if I were to just max out to the boundary. But the developer did not. So they actually add in a buffer, a breathing space, a transition space before you go into the unit. The playground next to it, I don't think is part of the requirement but the developer chose to do it. I like the down-to-earth design approach which means they use a lot of natural materials for example like the concrete blocks, steel, Shanghai plasters. Not those designs that are very very loud. La. And based on the residents that I spoke to in the comments is the renovation process was very easy because the columns within the units are all very well thought through. The 7.2 meters where you can put in the dining and the living together. Next to that will be the role that they play as a developer. A lot of work are still being done and those are improvement works. For example, the leaf lobby, the colour for the structure and they still entertain comments from the residents which I think is like spoiling market. Lah. Whatever that is done in the common areas, right? residents don't really have ground to complain because it's not stated anywhere. But the developer chose to respond in a very good way. Really rare this kind of developer. And last of all, this is a little bit technical but I like the fact that they apply a lot of UDG content where it's going to be friendly for elderly and disabled children. Ramps, 
it's actually costlier to build ramp compared to steps and something also point out this is a pet friendly apartment okay three things i don't like number one would be the existing infrastructure of this old address the roads are not catered for high rise and are not catered for such population this kind of roads can be a little bit narrow the lay by just to get into the unit can be a little bit more sudden also very close to that would be the congestion because the existing population here is insane so everything you come in and out of the buildings right you might feel a little bit overwhelmed by the population but if you grow up around here you tend to get used to it then last of all this site it's not exactly like class A site like. Because it's connected to one of the main road of Pujai Lama number one Then it's too close to the corner number two But at the end of the corner there will be another empty plot of land Which I think has a very high possibility that it will be developed This episode is going to be a little bit more different because the unit was changed Some of the walls are actually hackable And the developer actually passed the official drawings by the engineer To certify that this wall can be hacked Hence they changed a 3 plus 1 bedroom into a 3 bedroom with an extensive size of storage space as well as the kitchen This is not a standard unit plus they actually reside in So I don't think I want to explain that much Generally what we will observe clearly is the common areas So do I like the project? Yes Will I move in if I own it? Yes because of the dedication of the team I met several owners during the walk All of them are pretty pleased with whatever the developer provided Thank you very much for the couple who invited me to check out their residence Thank you for their support for the channel And with that, if you really like this episode, like it, share it and even subscribe for more information like this Until next time, check out the bus stop even design this I will see you on the next one Ciao